Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here, and with the Monster Hunter World Iceborne beta running both this weekend and next, I thought it'd be handy to put together some quick guides going over the new moves for each weapon, how to use them, what they do, basically everything you need to know to dive in and get started. I'll be doing one of these for each weapon, so be sure to keep it locked and turn on those notifications so you don't miss the other videos. And of course, if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated, and don't forget to let me know what you want to see next. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at everyone's favourite anime weapon, the Longsword. Now the longsword in Iceborne got a whole lot of love. Whoever was in charge of adding flair and style to this weapon clearly went on a full anime and samurai movie binge beforehand because what we have, it's beautiful. The longsword gets a new mechanic known as Special Sheath. Following any attack, you can press R2 and X to assume this Special Sheath stance, like some kind of wannabe Himura Kenshin. You can hold the stance itself for a few seconds, but from here you then have two options. Pressing triangle will perform the EI slash and pressing R2 will perform the EI Spirit Slash. Starting with the EI Slash, if this attack lands, it'll cause your Spirit Gauge to automatically increase, in a very similar manner to how it does following a Spirit Helm Breaker. This makes it an exceptional move to work into any aspect of combat, since it'll help you keep your Spirit Meter topped up more frequently. Additionally, since this doesn't cost any meter to use, it's without question going to form a core part of your bread and butter playstyle moving forward. Work this in mid-combo to give your spirit meter some boost whilst attacking, and again you'll be ready to whip out those spirit slashes more frequently. Also, since the special sheath can be worked in after practically any move, it can be a great way to remove those vulnerable windows after moves such as the Spirit Helm Breaker. However, the other option from this sheath is to press R2 to perform the EI Spirit Slash. This is a powerful attack, but it also consumes one level of your spirit meter upon using it. Unless... Unless you time it perfectly. See, there's a very tight window with this move that is akin to that of Valor or Brave Longsword in Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. See, if you perform this move just as you're about to be hit, it lacks like a counter, and not only will you go through the attack, but it also won't consume a level of your gauge. So this truly does reward perfect timing. Something else very important to note, and this is probably going to make Longsword an incredibly popular choice in Iceborne, is that Special Sheath will actually benefit from the Quick Sheath Armor skill and the EI attacks, since their draw attacks benefit from both Critical Draw and Punishing Draw skills. So when the game launches, we're going to be able to make some pretty spicy builds around this playstyle. However, that aside, we do have a couple more things to play with. Following a Spirit Slash, you can press L2 to perform a Slinger Burst. This is the powerful slinger shot, provided of course you still have slinger ammo. This also does not interrupt your spirit slash flow, so much like you can work regular attacks in between spirit slashes, you can do the same with the slinger burst too. Assuming this causes a monster to flinch, this also gives you a great opening to finish the spirit roundhouse slash. And of course, finally we have the clutch claw. Pressing L2 to take aim and then pressing circle, you can grapple onto a monster, and pressing triangle will perform the weapon specific attack, which for the longsword is this mid-air sword plant. Now given the longsword's light nature, it'll result in slinger ammo dropping from the monster, meaning that you can use this to farm slinger ammo should you need it in battle. Pretty handy. Now that's pretty much it for the time being, that's a quick look at the Longsword's new moves. Remember that I will be doing a full in-depth tutorial for all weapons come Iceborne's launch, but for now this will give you what you need to get started this weekend. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video, remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch 6 days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below, be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.